Hey everyone, this is Owen with Motion Ray, and in this tutorial, I'll be showing you how to animate a line in After Effects. All right, let's get started. So in this particular case, we'll be animating a line from one point to another on a map, which is a pretty common use for this technique. If you'd like to see how this map was made, check out our tutorial on it in the description below. So I'll go ahead and pop over to my other composition where I've got this set up, but no line drawn. So the way this is set up, the map is in a pre-comp, and I'm going to want to draw the line in that pre-comp so that it keeps the same transformations in 3D that this pre-comp has. So I'll double click it to open it up, and you can see inside here that it's just a map layer and it's got two guides that represent the start point and the end point of my line. So with the pen tool and no layer selected, I'll go ahead and start drawing out my line. I'll twirl down this new shape layer and go to the contents and then I'll go ahead and delete this fill and inside my stroke settings I'll change it to round cap and round join. Then I'll rename the layer to be line and then I'll go in and make sure that it's all lined up properly. That looks pretty good. So with my line finished, I'll go to the add menu here and add a trim paths. And in my trim paths settings, I'll set a keyframe for the end at frame zero for zero percent. Then I'll move over to two seconds or 60 frames and I'll change that to 100%. I'll highlight both the keyframes and I'll right click on one and go to keyframe assistant, easy ease. And if I ran preview, you can see my line is drawing on just the way I want it to. The last thing I'm going to do is I'll make this layer 3D so that it can reflect the 3D properties that the pre-comp is actually getting in the main comp. So if I navigate to my main comp and I ran preview now, you can see my line drawing on. So animating these lines is really easy. You just need to set up a trim paths and that's it. Well, that concludes this tutorial. I hope you guys found it helpful. If you did and you'd like to see more tutorials, please go ahead and subscribe because we're making new ones all the time. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.